Hey, what's up all you do yourselfers? My name's Dylan and this is Dylan's DIY Workshop. And today we are going to enter the Pallet Wood Challenge 2017. I wanted to be part of this last year, but I just didn't. And so this year I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Forgot all about it. Right now it's the same day that is the last day of competition and I have about two hours left before it has to be up. I'm filming this after the project's done, of course, and you guys already know what I made out of this palette, and that would be a miniature palette. I don't think anyone's ever done this before, and also I've never seen anybody take apart a palette the way I did in my video. This is, this is pretty cool, I think. I used little tiny, little tiny, tiny, tiny little nails, and I used whatever number of them I felt was right, pounded some of them over, cracked and chipped a whole bunch of different parts, left some grease on there, it's all rough. Even have the spot for the forklift or the pallet truck to pick it up. So I don't know, I think this is actually pretty cool and it's definitely gonna get displayed up there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you think down below and here comes the video. So this is all that I really need to make this project is these three pieces right here. As far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure that I can do it with just those three pieces. I don't think I've ever seen anybody take a pallet apart on a bandsaw before, <laughs> quite like the way I just did it. If I am the first, woohoo! If I'm not, let me know who did it before me. Basically, these three pieces are what I need, and we don't really need to clean them up too well. Also got a ton of these little tiny nails, and this is kind of what inspired me to do this. Also, I'm filming this at about 6 p.m. the last day of this challenge. So, um, I forgot about this challenge until today. I was like, oh crap, I need to be part of that. And I know that I got until 11.59 p.m. So here we go, let's do this. Okay, so a palette looks like this. And I'm gonna go one, two, three big pieces. And then all of them are the same length, so I'm making a square palette. So these will just be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, thin, same width pieces. So let's go ahead and cut all those out on the bandsaw there. I'm gonna use my fence, and we don't need to worry about making this anything other than the material that it is, like rough, because that's what pallets are made of. So I think I found a way around this challenge. I just found a loophole, I think. So I've turned this around now that so that you guys can see what I'm doing and I decided that I'm just going to use the thickness of these pieces of wood as the width and the height of the other pieces of wood. So I need to make some big pieces and some thin pieces. Now I'm going to cut the thinner ones. So I think I said that I needed 12 cross pieces and I decided that because each one of these is at least 15 inches long, I'm going to make the pallet 7.5 by 7.5. So what that means is I need 12 of these pieces total so that I can make all the other pieces. So let's make sure that I've got 12 here. We got, no, I, I need half of that. I need 6. So we're, we're definitely good. Now I just need to set up a stop on my radial arm saw for 7.5 inches.
Looks like the test fits going pretty well. Right here I've just set all the pieces on there and that's exactly what it's going to look like. This is the underside. I figured out the spacing to get seven on the top and then the five on the bottom with the space obviously where the forklift forks or the pallet car would go. So here we go. So what better hammer for a random project than a random hammer? If any of you can tell me what kind of hammer this is, I'd be very thankful. So comments down below, please. I've also got this very skinny pair of uh, needle nose pliers. Let's see if I can get better lighting here. Yeah, that's a lot better. So skinny pair of needle nose pliers right here. And then, like I said, all these tiny nails. So let's open this up. I don't even know where these came from, guys, or what they're for, but I was like, this is this is gonna be good. This tiny nails, tiny project, no glue. Putting this together just like a pallet would be put together. Should we like smash the nail heads so that nobody could take it apart ever? I know that that's what they like to do when they build these things. So there's one. That was probably not the smartest one to put in first, but what can you do, right? Good. Sweet. So it's done. Just like that. And back to my house. If you want to learn how to wood burn, I have a ton of tutorials on how to wood burn different kinds of wood burners, wood burning safety, wood burning for beginners, all kinds of stuff. I'll put it in a card right up here. Click on that. Hope you enjoy. Here you go guys. This is the pallet that I made out of a pallet and I used tiny, tiny little nails like that. Even pounded some of them over like that, like a normal pallet would have. Some have three, some have two, some just have one. All kinds of nails, rough to not even square. That's how pallets are made. Sometimes you'll find pieces that are cracked like that and you can't use them. But that's how a pallet's made and that's how I made it. So again, if you guys saw that hammer and you know what it's called, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new maybe, maybe the name of that hammer from somebody else in the comments. That's really what we're here to do. I hope you guys learn something new every single day, no matter what it is. As long as you can say that you learn one new thing every day, it was a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my other channel. It's a vlog style channel. And there's even a video for the behind the scenes of this project right here. Check it out right up here, click on the card. See you guys all next time. Peace out.